Spring has sprung. <laughs> Am I talking? It's up to you, I guess. Okay. Like an intro? Yeah. This is crummy weather today, but it is spring. The days have been beautiful. Today's just that day we gotta go. This is a terrible intro. <laughs> lightning storm last night. They don't mind the rain as long as it's not too cold. Yeah. I just worry about them with the lightning, so we brought them in. Which means they need to clean up today. Huh. We also have Luna and Ladybug back together. We had separated them to do to wean Luna. So we did some fence line separation. Which meant they shared a fence line. They could see each other. Ladybug could lick little Luna all she wanted to, but Luna couldn't nurse. The holes in the fence are small enough that she couldn't get through to nurse. We just reintroduced her and she hasn't tried a nurse. So we've successfully weaned, which is nice. Now they can be together. Ready? Exciting day. Yes, finally. Look at me. <laughs> Mommy true. What's going on today? We are getting some blood from goats. What? Why do you want to get blood from goats? To see if they're pregnant. Uh, and if Quinn did his job. Right. Had a boy. Does it make you a little nervous? Yeah. All right. Yeah. We're using the vacutainer with yeah. her. All right, everybody ready? Ready.
Lacey. That was awesome. How'd you do? Should do it. You need two milliliters. That's awesome. three milliliters too. So good. Girl. Ooh, you made that look easy. <laughs> All right, Lacey back, take her back. We, <laughs> we'll have to do this, the talking separately because when we separated the two goats, Gizmo kind of freaks out. Yeah. Lacey was totally fine as you could see, but Gizmo was being the noisy one. So what we did with Lacey is we used the vacutainer that we used for the cow's blood draw, that tail draw. So the vacuum tube with the syringe goes into our little, I think they call this a holder. So we put the needle into the vein, and then once it's in the vein, you pop the tube, and then it fills with blood. So we got our sample, that's Lacey's. Next up, we're gonna do Gizzy. But for Gizmo, it will be. Mommy said something funny. So we've done Lacey. Now we're just gonna have to do Gizzy. Which will probably be much easier. Because he's logging in, he's not shooting for the edit. Shooting for the edit. Small. Must be hurting Daddy's back to bend down. Lacey's just bent down a bit. Gizmo like bend, 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 bend down. Turn it up. This? Mm -hmm. We thought Lacey was the hard one, that's why we did her first. <laughs> Turns out Gizmo's got little veins and my goodness, she's shaggy. So it's recommended sometimes that you shave them so you can see that vein a little better. That's what we're gonna do. We won't shave all of her. <laughs> no. These clippers I actually got, we were fostering a standard poodle. So have some nice clippers on hand for this goat trimming occasion. It's okay. It's okay, go. Like at both sides or just the one? Oh, this is both. pretty. Both. Oh yeah, look at that. It's popping already right there. right there. So much better. Much easier to see that. Much easier. That's improvement. <laughs>
such a difference with her because I just couldn't feel that vein the way I could with Lacey. She's so much smaller. Uh, it made a big difference shaving that area. So for first timers, I would say err on the side of caution and just shave them before you stick them. Did you tell them about the clippers? Uh, you can look kind of We'll have a link below for the clippers. They're for dogs, but they work great for goats. The Andis Ultra Edge Special Edition. Now let's not mix up the blood samples. Oh yeah, <laughs> wow, that could be bad. One of your goats is pregnant. Right, now go figure out which one. Make sure you have a marker so you can mark who's the tube. You may do it by their tattoo. If you know them all by name, do it by their name, however you want to do it. Or just put it in different places. <laughs> yeah, or <laughs> I forgot my marker, so we're making sure we don't mix the two up. first time yeah we are doing the blood pregnancy test because we want to know definitively if they are bred we've had goats in the past who we were sure they were bred they started coming into milk and they never had any kids that way in June when we're expecting to see these girls kidding we'll know for sure that they're bred we'll also do some disease testing while we're at it and we'll talk a little bit about that in another video I guess, because I'm not prepared now. So let's shut it down. The day you become a home study pioneer, you get access to all the bonus content available only to pioneers. Right there in the library, under the section goats, you will find lots of bonus content all about raising goats, keeping goats, how to make money with goats, how you want to set up your barn for goats. If you're thinking about getting goats or you have them and you want to make your goat experience better, consider becoming a Homesteady Pioneer. It's five bucks a month, you get all the bonus content and you help support this show for just a quarter per episode. Click here to become a pioneer. We thank you so much for your support.